Jim, let me ask this, because a, a lot of people are talking about how can this team be better when you've lost some of the talent that has walked out of this great facility. The Amari Coopers, the Randy Gregories. How is it that this team steps on the field in 2022 better than it was last year? Well, first of all, we've got some young names, young players on the receiving end uh, that Amari Cooper, his main position. Amari is outstanding, by the way, one of the finest people that I've ever been around. Set up our library here with the Cowboys. Wow. Really, really fine people. Mm -hmm. But when you take that much of the resources, paid a lot, when you take that much of the resources and you don't get it so that you draw a lot of defensive players with you when you're not even getting the ball, right. then that becomes a problem. Yeah. Our quarterback, and I'm so proud to have him, will throw the ball to the right man that the defense lets you have. He's excellent at it. And he'll put it on the right receiver. That's not always the best receiver. Right. Okay, so you see the dilemma there. Right. We thought for sure with these young players we've got coming, we've added two or three that mm -hmm. make a big difference. Right. Uh, we're going to be fine, and mainly because of number four. We cannot, I'm not, I have no questions about your defense, and in particular, Micah Parsons. I think Micah Parsons is sensational. I think this dude is a generational type of talent. That's how I feel about Micah Parsons. Mark Lawrence and these boys, they can play too, but that brother is something special. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.